Hello guys, today I'm going to be doing a, my first comparison review of the Nerf Barrel Break IX2 and my you, I haven't done a review on this yet, the Whiteout Rough Cut, it's basically the same as the regular Rough Cut, um, the new Whiteout Rough Cut, I, along with the Whiteout Rough Cut, just to let you know, I bought the Mega Magnus and a Strong Arm, which is currently, um, I can't, well I can find it, but I just can't be bothered to get it because it's in my bedroom, it's way upstairs. So, um, let's start off um, with the pros and cons of each gun. So the pros of the Barrel Break is probably the best thing about the Barrel Break is that it comes with this nice ammo rail. Um, you can hold eight darts, you can hold any gun at all. Um, it's very, very nice. Now, um, the other, another pro for this gun is very, very, very cool. Um, although personally I'd only get this for a collector's item if you know not like me, but you like use any gun that you want in an Earth War. Um, being honest, I quite like this gun, even if I use it in an Earth War, so yeah. Um, it's very cool. Now, the cons of this gun. Oh, yeah, one more pro. It has some. Um, indicators to show you just here to show you where which um, barrel you fired so that will show you which barrel you fired so that's very handy when you're um, out shotgunning if you, if you don't know which barrel you fired you're kind of screwed and it will tell you when both barrels are fired set primed one barrel is shot and then the other barrel is shot. It will always come out of the left side so it's this side but it's actually um, for you it's this side it's just because my computer is on the way around um, so for you it will be that side my computer is weird so for you it will be that side I mean, it's this side. It always comes up the left barrel first. So the indicator is very handy. Now the cons. The cons, it's not very good good range. Um, it's and it comes with these whistle darts. Any other darts? Any darts other than the whistlers? The black whistlers and um, these elite darts will f just fall out the barrel. I've done it before, or, or I might just like screw up the entire mechanism of the plunger in here. So now for the rough cut. First, the pros it's very easy to use because it's just a pump and fire shotgun. Um, it's very easy to use. Um, it holds eight rounds compared to the barrel break. Um, holds two rounds. Um, and it has a, a massive improvement in range. Um, and you can fire one dot at a time with this, which I have to do because. My one's weird, it won't fire. It, the white out one's a bit weird because the trigger is very, very, very hard to pull to shoot both at the time. But I'll show you right now. Um, let's see, you can just, you just front load it really. It's very hard for me to fire off both darts at the same dart time. 
Um, so yeah, that's a con. It's one of the cons, but I think it's only for the white out one. Um, it has um, two swing adapters, one here and one here, whereas the barrel brake only has one on the grip. On the um, grip. Um, um, it's an end strike elite, it has one tactical rail at the barrel brake. So the cons now. Um, cons. Um, yeah, the trigger's hard to pull. Um, it and it does not come with this attachment. Which. It's very hard to get on, but you can you will get it on eventually. And you may have to rip it off. So yeah, the attachment isn't really meant for um the barrel brake attachment isn't really meant for the rough cut 2x4. So it's an elite, it's part of the multi-shot Magnus series. But um, on the white out one, it doesn't really say because it's not really in a box. It's more of in like you know the Mega Magnus's packaging. You know, like the um, twist ties around, twist ties around there, there, and then just one around the entire main body, just like that. And then so, and it comes in like the packaging way for like. Have a go at priming it and stuff. And firing. I I I did sunfire with a strong arm while it was still including while it was still in the packaging. So um yeah. Um and an, an, actually no another pro um is that it can use any type of dart. Yeah, I'm just gonna fire off both the whistles. One and two. So that was another pro. I think I said another con. So let me just collect up those darts. Because one has gone very, very far behind the treadmill. Oh my god. All the blood just went into my head. Another pro is that it has slam fire. Now, um, con is that when you prime it, um, sorry, it's because, so I'll tell you the other pro. You can put it in, you can put the dart in whatever barrel you want and it'll still fire. Even if you put like, like, Dart in there. Dart in there. It will still fire. Both. What's up? Still fire both darts. Kind of like try it out. The rough cut. I think it came out after. All the um four main I think I think it was three three main elite guns came out so that was the um, retaliator the hailfire and the rampage so they were the main elite guns before it turned into you know all this and stuff so personally. I'd get um, the I don't know. It's what it's what you should choose. It depends what you want. Whether you want a um, a gun that comes with um, a very nice attachment and it looks cool, 
or a gun that's very, very, very good on the battlefield. Well, not very, 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 but very good on the battlefield. And um, you can use it as a sling more than this gun. It depends what you want. Personally, I get both. But the last thing, just to say, is that this one, let's take off the attachment. This one is a lot heavier than this one. So if, if I weigh this on my scales, oh by the way I don't have a script, so sorry about the missing out stuff. So if I weigh this on my scales, um, that is, sorry I'm covering it up. That is about 310 grams. Sorry, all I saw was the um, mark. I'm, I'm guessing. I don't have scales there, sorry. Um, this one, I'd say this is about a kilogram. So this is this is considerably lighter than this one. Um, so thanks for watching. And bye. Thanks for sorry. Um, thanks for watching this. Please click like and um, please subscribe as well. Oh, by the way, if you haven't seen any of my other reviews, go and check them out. I've only watched a few though. Well, so far I have. Um, I will. I will definitely launch a review of this. The rough cups the Mega Magnus and the Strong Arm, which, like I said, I can't be bothered to get because it's up there. Actually, I think it's about there. You can't really see, can you? I think it's about, um, see where that, um, red cushion is? Not this, not this one. Um, this one over here. If you go up from that, it will be um, about there, I think. Because my bed is just across here. Um, and it's like a bit far away from my bed. So, yeah. It's just up there. Actually, it's in my brother's room, being fair. Um, so, thanks for watching. Please rate, comment, subscribe, like. I've said all that, haven't I? Um, and bye.